My mic is muted again! <laughs> I can't even bitch because my mic is muted. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's on my end. I'm sorry. It does that every time it crashes. It meets the mic. Thank you. Thank you. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Hold on. I think we're good. I think everything's up and, and functional. For the moment. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's really weird, guys, though. It happened last time, too. Last time, though, it, like, full out blue screen of death to my computer. This time, ops just, uh, froze. So it's a slight improvement, I think? Question mark? <laughs> Welcome back! Thank you, IDK. Thank you. Thank you guys for hanging out. Despite the technical difficulties, I appreciate it. I know. It's it's uh, kind of frustrating. The fact that it cut out as I was getting walloped by a pig, though, is pretty funny. And I, I lived! I lived! Even though my screen died. <laughs> is it because of the snow? <laughs> I'm gonna blame Windows 10. That's my only, uh... It's either Windows 10 or OBS or both. They're not happy together. I don't think there was a recent OBS update. I thought it might be that. Like, if, if they updated OBS. Um, but I'm not sure. No, it, like, with the snow, I could see if it was, like, the internet. Um, crapping out. Was this... I thought this was knocked over before. Oh, that's laggy. Uh-oh. All right, guys, um... Is this lagging for you? Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. So, I'm hitting the hammer. And we get a sound. I'm hitting the hammer. And we get a sound. I'm hitting the hammer. And we get a sound! What is wrong with everything? Everything is broken. Forever. Yes, this is a severe audio delay. Is there- Hold up. Is there an audio delay on my webcam? As well? <laughs> oh, you know what? It... I wonder if it's something with a capture card bugging out. Let's check the properties. I thought you knew about the delay it had been there for a while. Uh, not this bad. As far as I noticed. This is, like, very noticeable. Like, painfully noticeable. Alright, we're capturing at 1080p 30, which makes no sense. Profile 1080p. What? Literally everything reset! Alright, not on webcam. Okay, thank you. That's important. So it's the capture card. Alright. We're gonna do this for a moment. Goodbye. And... Properties... Maybe it's the deer. <laughs> no. Configure video. I'm gonna try deactivating the capture card and reactivating it. That'll definitely go well. Deactivate. And then I'll try to open it in the software. Because some reason it reset, like, literally everything that's <laughs> broken tonight. <laughs> this should just be an... I I'm just gonna change over to an IRL stream tech support stream instead of this. Welcome to Game Capture HD. Click capture to create some videos. How do I edit my settings? There we go. Settings. Advanced. Nope. We're not troubleshooting. The thing is people actually have stuff like that, which I think is hilarious. Worst comes to worst, I can stream through the game capture software. The delay's not there right now. Um... But it wouldn't have like my overlays and stuff. All right, so game capture is set to seven. What? What? <laughs> the game capture software is set to a completely different input than OBS is. That's cool. That's cool. I'm glad it decided to do that. Play Sonic. <laughs> Sonic. All right. I reactivated the capture device. Let us see if that has fixed the problem. Yes. Okay. We did it. Tech support. Rip. Easy. Okay. Get me out of here. Thanks for hanging tight with the, the technical difficulties. That's never happened before. That audio delay is terrible. Sanic <laughs> to Hogok. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, guys, I'm, I'm trying to think of what I should play after this game. I'm getting- I'm in the home stretch. I might beat this at this rate in another two years, so we gotta- we gotta think ahead to the future. What the next game is for the Shrimpy Noodle stream. You guys think I should have a poll? Or just kind of informal? I feel like if I do a poll, everyone just picks the game that they think I'm gonna rage at the most. But I was- I was thinking about possibly The Last of Us, so I just got that for like 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, or I was thinking maybe doing a more old school type game, like a PS1 game or like kind of a retro game. Alright, I'm gonna unequip my moon runes. Neo? No! No Neo! Never Neo! Never Neo! No Metal Gear! Fury, yes, I, I do want to play that eventually, Hybrid hey, I'm waiting for that to go on a Steam sale though, because I know it will. That's the type of game that's always on Steam sales. I will definitely play that at some point though, because that's like right up my alley. Last of Us is awesome! Okay, that's reassuring, because I heard good things about it and it seems a little less rage inducing than this game. I may find a way to rage at it, but it definitely seems like it would be a little more chill. I love Bloodborne, I've really enjoyed this game. Like, I, I can say I've really enjoyed this game and I'm glad I played it, but I need a change of pace when it's done for a little bit. I will go back and do another run at some point, but I definitely need a... need a breather. Alright. All defense types. Files. Should I increase max HP or stamina? I feel like stamina is better because I can try to get hit less. Back to getting aborted by a stillborn baby! <laughs> How am I getting aborted? Ugh. All right, storage, give me these things. Give me the, give me. No, I don't want to store them, I want to take them. Four. Yay. All right, that's enough for two runs. <laughs> 200 blood vials, let's, we use 200 blood vials every, uh, every Orphan of Cause run. Shadows of Mortar, you're just, you're just saying fem games, Onimusha. You're just saying fem games. She uh, she had a poll for what to play next and everyone was like voting Neo. That's why I'm afraid to do a poll because I don't want people to vote for games that I don't want to play. <laughs> Puzzle agent. Oh no. This is not the Gen with glasses stream, I'm sorry. No, I actually haven't played The Last of Us and it's it seems like it would be right up my alley because it's based in Boston as far as I know or at least part of the game is set in Boston and that's where I'm from. So maybe I won't get lost. <laughs> In the, the zombie-ridden subway. <laughs> Metal Gear would be cool too, but then you might be played like a damn fiddle. What does that mean? I'm gonna get wrecked. The thing with Metal Gear is that's another, like, long game. That's a long game. I want a game, like... Like, Last of Us is only about 15 hours from what I read. And, um... It seems a little bit more chill. But, um... The game like Metal Gear, I feel like I would get bored, so that would be like something I would just do for a couple streams just to play with it, and then probably not finish. Because I'm not- I don't care about the characters. I don't like the setting. The setting is grimy and disgusting. And not interesting, aesthetically to me. You left for back and I'm bit now, and so- <laughs> I left for bit and I'm back now. Speaking, and so is Shrimp good. Um, the stream is good for the moment. I make no guarantees that it'll be good for the next five minutes. It may crash sporadically again, because I don't know what's wrong with OBS. But, um, the stream is good. I'm not good. I didn't get good. You're Ellen Page, <laughs> No, I'm not Ellen Page. Ellen Page is adorable, though. She's such a cute little lesbian. Less of us would be cool then. Yeah, I, I really, uh, I heard really good things about it, so I'm excited to play it. If people would be interested in watching, I'm gonna play it either way, <laughs> even if it's just me. <laughs> but um, I think it would be fun. I hit like a noodle. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. No, 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 stop that. Ugh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. How am I alive? No, now I'm dead. Get back there. No! Wait. So I can get about 
two hits in before he starts wailing most of the time. I'm so glad I have all this stamina. Did it! That one I think is the easiest backstab. Sometimes I can stagger him out of that animation, sometimes I can't. Sometimes I have fire on my weapon, sometimes I don't. Oh, come on! I just stood behind him like an idiot! <laughs> no, I'm so dead! Alright, we saw the phase two. But we're not gonna live through this phase. <laughs> we are not gonna live through this phase. This is the first time I've got to this, I think. finally got him! We finally got him! The run! That was the first time I hit the second phase. Well, second time. The first time this this uh, stream. Oh boy! Hey Puma, how's it going? You bring the good luck! You brought the good luck! Nice! Yeah, I, I was just swinging in the, at the air <laughs> in a blind panic! <laughs> That's how you play, right? Oh, my eyes. My eyes are burning. I'm so happy the stream didn't crash, guys. I'm so happy. You really looked like a pro gamer there, flailing, flailing my uh, my hammer, and screaming. Is that how you become a pro gamer? <laughs> I literally did not parry him once. I backstabbed him twice, didn't I? So like, the easiest um, sorry, my eyes like wicked itchy. Yeah, I'm crying. I'm crying. Oh no, the, my eyes are really like burning. Um, the easiest backstab I found for him was when he did that circle attack on the ground and um, you can kind of loop behind him because he the magic doesn't hit behind him Ugh. did you change your runes too no I had the same ones I, well I changed the runes from the moon ones if that's what you mean but I um, I changed I, these are the same ones I had for the last time fighting him hey Pokemon how's it going you're here to see the cause victory 
Oh, that felt good. Finally. Oh, I can progress. Finally. I feel like... Guys, I feel like I didn't, like, learn anything. I feel like that was just luck. <laughs> what is this? This is spooky. Um. Hello? Oh, the fish makes squishing noises. Ew. Oh, you're supposed to hit him. Oh. Nightmare slain. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Can I still fight Lawrence? Did I ruin that? Can I not fight Lawrence? <laughs> I'm gonna be mad. Look at how badass my outfit is, though. Sweet child of God. Who's saying this? To the ocean. Who is this narrator? A bottomless curse. A bottomless sea. Accepting of all that there is. <laughs> okay, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> the rhyming. Oh, God. Why is everything spooky? Okay, let's go back. I spent all that time farming vials and I got him the first try <laughs> when I got back. <laughs> yeah. So, I definitely feel like... So, if you guys noticed, when I was fighting him for the first, like, hour of the stream, I progressively, like, kind of got more tilted and didn't really learn anything or play any better, but I feel like when you do take a breather like that, when I went to farm the echoes, it kind of does make it easier to get back into the flow of the fight. Okay, you can still fight Lawrence. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna change my runes, actually. I'm gonna put the fire resist one on. I have a lot of insight. So I was doing okay with the pizza cutter versus Lawrence. I might go back to that. Blood Vial Maximum seems good, Stamina seems good. And we'll change this to Fire, maybe? Damage Reduction plus 4%. How much is the Fire one? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, it might be the Capture Card Age. I think you're right, because that was being weird with the sound delay. I have to check into that. About 7 deaths only, though, if Death Counter was working. <laughs> 7 deaths only in this stream. <laughs> If I went back and I counted, I, I played about an hour off stream the other day to just try to get the parry timings down, which I didn't whatsoever. Like, I feel like if I went back and fought him now, I still would get destroyed. Because I didn't get the parry timings down or anything. But, um, I probably died to him about 50 times total. Maybe a little bit more. It's less than I thought I would, though. I thought I was going to keep fighting him all stream tonight. I'm glad uh, we were able to get him. So now I gotta go back here. You wanna know something fun? You killed him, yet no one will remember that you did. The damage was already done. By that point. I'm not quite sure what that means. <laughs> no one will rem remember that I killed him? Why, because the nightmare disappeared? The nightmare ended? I'm still in the nightmare. I don't remember how to get back to this ball, so I think I'm just gonna end up here. Now we're gonna use the pizza cutter. I can probably do it with the boom hammer, but it, it seems slower. It's been a long time since I've fought him, so I gotta relearn his uh, stuff. He's basically the cleric beast with weird AoE stuff, though. It seems like. That one attack I have the most problem with is. Um... When he pulls his hand out of the ground, he has like kind of a ring of fire around his butt. And that one I always end up taking damage to. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, come on. Get me out of here. Alright. Did someone order a pizza delivery? Pizza. Pizza. CCA. I still can't figure out if it's better to be, uh, locked onto him or not. Oh! Okay. Oh, is this broke? Or did that just get cancelled? Ah, oh, it just got cancelled. No! No! I, I dodged! I was spamming my circle! 
He's like a big old flaming big bird. These noises. He sounds more like a phoenix than a, a cleric beast, whatever that is. Shrieking and swiping. <laughs> you can't change the past, and the orphan was already dead by the time you got there. That was his lingering spirit. So his spirit was that strong? Really? How, wait, so how was he already dead by the time I got there? I need to watch that video that's like summarizing the Bloodborne lore. I really need to watch that video. I didn't restart my death counter either. You know, screw the screw the death counter. Honestly, at this point. R.I.P. Death counter. So it's doing about almost 400 a hit, I think, with this thing. Oh, I gotta check to see, uh... Because I have a durability... Oh, I'm gonna go repair this, actually. I have a durability down gem on this. Because I don't have good gems. And, um, that one does the most damage. Orphan of Cause is possibly the son of Garmin- What? What? I don't understand the story of Bloodborne whatsoever. <laughs> I really don't. Honestly, though, like the the, the po like the death counter was okay. It was okay for a while, but now it just I really don't feel like it serves any purpose. Once you're over 500 deaths, it really doesn't. Remember death counter? I can't leave a note like that. No one liked my note. Literally. Not one person liked my note in front of- immediately in front of the call's entrance that said, uh, nothing but grief here. <laughs> no one likes my notes. Oh, it's broken! What? Dur- Durability, 61 out of 230. Image is clearly a broken weapon. Cool. There was a blade in the placenta. Someone cut cause open and probably experimented on the orphan. What? Was there actually a blade in the placenta? I don't know where you saw that. I don't understand anything. <laughs> Death counter waifu. <laughs> waifu will be missed. Death counter was not waifu material. Okay, now we have a weapon that isn't like a piece of freaking salami. We can <laughs> it actually has edges on it. Only four people in the world have one cause. So okay, so PlayStation trophies wise, some guy last stream was telling me um, that you could kill cause. Uh, no, what am I trying to say? Some guy last stream was saying that only ten percent of people beat cause based on PlayStation trophies. But then I went on a website and it said thirty percent of people did. So what is the actual statistic? Like, how many people actually did beat the boss? I don't understand. Because the website said a lot more people did. There's like a PlayStation Trophies website. I don't know if it's self-reported on that website. Also, hey, Alice... Alice Rises! How's it going? I never killed Cause yet. It was too difficult for me? Really? How long have you been playing? I've been playing the game for like two months and I got stuck on that one boss on Cause for like a week. Um, and I just beat him. I think I died 50 times. You just kind of have to be beating your head into a wall. I got lucky, I think, because I really don't feel like I improved my, uh, my strategies against him at all. It's either got a blade in it or it's really sharp. How do you know that? I thought it just hurts because he's, he's, uh, it's really heavy and he's waggling at <laughs> it at us. Also, hey, many multitudes, how you doing tonight? How's it going? How's your week been? Welcome to Surprise Wednesday stream. Uh, the website's probably based on people who actually use it. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. It was kind of like a, a self-reporting uh, bias to the facts, to the uh, statistics there. So I don't know. I stream Bloodborne and all DLC except him. Oh no! So uh, did you, uh, you move on to a new game? No, 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 let me through, let me, let me through. It looks like a blade around the edge? I'll have to look at it closer.
closer. You'd think I would have got a closer look at it since it was in my face 90% of the fight. But I didn't. I did not get a closer look at it. Week's been okay, how about you? Ah, uh, week's been pretty good. Work was pretty busy, uh... Busy for Valentine's Day and stuff, everyone getting the, the pastries for their sweethearts and stuff, but it's been uh, slowing down since then, so I'm just kind of taking it easy. Uh, hey look, money, how you doing? It's time, it's time for Lawrence. I beat the game on New Game Plus to get revenge, okay. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Hey, beating it on New Game Plus is probably equally difficult. But now you get to fight calls on New Game Plus, right? If you ever want to go back. I should probably heal. That would be advisable. Did you beat uh, this boss, Alice Rises? This boss is causing me a bit of grief so far. I haven't fought him as many times as I fought Calls. I gotta get used to dodging through the timing on that. I had trouble with that on the actual Cleric Beast too. This guy's just a Cleric Beast reskin with another phase. The music's really good though. Oof, that was close. Where you headed? Where's your head at? Where's your head at? Where's your head at, 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 at? Roll! Where's your head at? Someone tell me they know that song. <laughs> and I'm not just sounding like a moron. <laughs> oh lord. Roll! Roll! Rolling! Rolling! Roll out! Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Alright, he's healed. We can stagger him. Alright, no any Musha knows the song. Good, good. Someone knows. <laughs> no! 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 What are you- Where am I? Why am I in his garage? No, no. No, no, no! No! Alright, I'm having flashbacks with Cleric Beast. Poof! Back it up. Alright. It's lava time. Alright, he gets in a, in a bit of a, a tizzy here. We got cornered last time. Oh, what the? Okay, he pivoted. How do you have that much range of motion? You're just a torso! Not this! Not like this! No! Greed! No, the stompy! Not the stompy! We're gonna kind of. Yeah, no, this boss is a lot like Amelia. I don't know if it's just the setting, being the fact that it's the same freaking church, and the flailing and the screaming. All right, we are greedy. No, no, no! <laughs> the one that gives me the most difficulty because he's pivoting as he's leaving like a slime trail of lava behind him so I think I just dodge out for that one instead of to the side this boss in Neo is annoying me how long have you been playing uh playing Neo Lockmani 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 however you say it I heard that game was a lot harder than Bloodborne the idea is that the healing church decided to invade the fishing hamlet to experiment on cause. Okay, so cause just kind of plopped there. From space or something. The people cursed the hunters with the plague of beasts for killing their god. Okay. Then they used the blood from a briatus and cause to create blood healing. The blood was cursed and carried a bloodborne disease for the plague of beasts. Oh, okay. Thank you for the spark notes. <laughs> bloodborne spark notes. 
Uh, Femme had linked me to a video by this guy called Vati Vidya, like a lore video that I haven't watched yet because I wanted to beat the game first. Um, that supposedly kind of explains everything in depth. I think you just turned the cutter on at that point, probably age. That's probably accurate. That was pretty close. I almost got him. He's not too bad. You just gotta learn when to dodge through his attacks. It was the same with calls. I still get the timing wrong a lot. Sometimes in my blind panic, I just forget that I can activate the, the full pizza cutter mode. It seems like locked on camera is better though. I was using it locked off before and I didn't think that was the strat, but... But it's working now. Also, I think I'm a little bit tankier than I was before. Ah, oh, his hand! Okay. Alright, his hand is how I miss roll when he does that punch down attack. Yeah, Vati's got a good voice. Definitely good for that type of uh, video production. This seems kind of bullshit, guys. I do a lot of damage. I'm just staggering him constantly. I don't feel good about this. I did 5,000 damage. Look at, look at how much damage that was. This is so easy now. Why is this so easy? I'm gonna regret saying that. Alright, well, let's try just doing the pizza. sudden. Thanks guys for the GG's. Honestly, after cause, I feel like that got easier. Am I finally getting good? Oh, you just you just beat Lawrence? <laughs> oh no, you killed the other boss. Never mind. Sorry, you're playing Neo. Nice. Congrats. That boss is easy with the pizza cutter. <laughs> Alright, last bosses, boys. I didn't think I'd get to them tonight, but that's exciting. It might have been the delay. It was like the freaking Dragon Ball Z hyperbolic time chamber. Everything's heavy and slowed down. And now that the delay is missing, everything's like <laughs> so much easier. I'm so much stronger. My reaction times are increased. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't talk about easy when you're on new game. I know, I know. It's still easy. I can call it easy because it's easy for me and I'm bad. So I'm totally entitled. All right, let's fight Gehrman. Let's see if he's easy. Okay, we're gonna use the boom hammer. I think the pizza cutter also might be slightly broken against uh, beasts. 
because he got staggered so easy. Like that whole fight, he just kind of ate dirt. He was staggered so much. All right, I haven't fought German yet. This is the first time. Sneak attack. Nope. They <laughs> don't let me do that. <laughs> All right. Dear, oh dear. Oh shoot, shoot, shoot! No, 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 no! The umbilicals! No, get me out of here! Get me out of here! I just realized that, Hybrido. Get me out! Get me out! Get me! Did I ruin it? Hold on. Shit, where are my bolt hunters' marks? Give me- <laughs> Just let me die. Just kill me. I can't- Can I use the mid-battle? Does that work? Can I just like- Oh, I can. <laughs> Fuck. So if I use them now, can I still get the moon presence fight? Or not? That's annoying. If not- I didn't realize you had to use them right before the fight. Orphan and Lawrence are terrifying on New Game Plus and onwards? Ugh. <laughs> they were terrifying to me. Well, Orphan was, at least, in New Game. I hate Orphan. I did not like that fight. Guys, does anyone know if I use these now? If I can still get the moon presents, or are we just gonna have to experiment? I just eat them, right? Just casually smash them into my face like I do with everything else in the game? directly to the forehead. Equipped Beast Embrace? I don't want to be a furry. It'll look really weird with my deer helmet. It's too late? Really? That sucks. I still have them. Well, we'll find out. Honestly, if I don't get the fight, I'm gonna just freaking, um, watch it on YouTube afterwards. How do I have so much insight all of a sudden? Did I really get, like, 14 insight from beating Lawrence? Oh no, some of it's from seeing Garamon, okay. Um... What does it even give me other than... Oh, it's just a bonus. Ooh, that noise is spooky. I... Ugh. That ain't right. I'm supposed to be a pretty lady, and now I just look like a monster. <laughs> the, mouth, the mouth modeling is so bad. I can't even make that face. It's like... Ooh, ooh. I can't tell if it's an underbite or an overbite. <laughs> it's entirely possible it'll let you fight if you consume them before you kill them. Alright, we'll try it. We'll give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> so ugly! He's ugly! Or, or I'm ugly. I'm ugly. Alright. Vile recovery up. We need this. I don't want the under overbite. I want to be like the Vicar Amelia school of furry and not the uh, <laughs> whatever school of furry that was. <laughs> Can be used to access the third ending in the game consuming three chords before the fight against Garman. The first hunter, or at least before he dies. Okay, thank god. Whew. Whew. I was gonna be mad. Where's your <laughs> baby cleric beast wants his milk? Wah. We're like, Arr! Screeching. Yes, I killed Orphan Tab! You weren't here? That's sad. <laughs> yeah, I killed him. I killed him and Lawrence! You missed everything! <laughs> Now we're on Gearman, and I haven't fought him yet, so I don't know what to do. Slam! Slam! He staggers pretty easy. Nope. nope. Regret. Regret. Oh, you saw Lawrence. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I did, uh, I did cause. It was a freak accident. I have to rewatch and see what I did. I kind of got in the flow of it, I guess. Why is he so easy to interrupt in this phase? He's pretty easy to... Nope, that 
one is hard. Okay. Rest in peace, blood cutscene. <laughs> His sound effects are kind of comical. Is he saying wham or like slam? Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, he looks easy to parry, but why bother parrying him when I can just smash him with a hammer instead to interrupt his attacks? He doesn't look like he'll be that hard. I may eat my words, but he really doesn't look that difficult. At least not compared to Orphan. He gives you more time to react in this phase, at least. That's an important distinction. I don't know if I want elderly, elderly hunter pizza. That doesn't sound very good. At least it's really, really a short walk to him. I should try to parry him, honestly. I haven't even tried yet. It would help if I had, like, my gun equipped, you know? <laughs> Fist of Grasha equipped, apparently. <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> we gotta paunch, we gotta make a paunching. Alright. Remember elderly pizza at you? <laughs> Alright. He's open for parrying, but like, not that open. What the? That was cheap. Obnoxious. Oh, okay. He's got a gun now. Alright. Does no damage. Come at me, old man! He's just kind of waddling. Hello? Are you gonna attack me? Hello? Oh, I did it. Too slow though. I didn't realize that was gonna be parry. Shit. I think I could have got the uh, parry there. Oh, his cape's getting bloody. That's cool. How? That doesn't even do damage. Yeah, the music. The music's sad. It's really sad. Wasn't it? He staggers so easy. Oh, he's got Hunter's Bone now, doesn't he? What's this? Oh yeah, I wondered if I could attack him during that animation. Shit. Alright, apparently it reged! That weapon is really cool. Whatever it is, I like it. The Reaper Scythe. Oh, come on. Let's miss all the attacks. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
no, no, no. It's quicker now. Shoot. Oh, shit. I keep forgetting he can parry me. Oh, he doesn't stagger during this phase. He doesn't stagger. Not like he did before. Oh, it's so good, the music. Does he have a damage resist buff? He seems to be taking less damage. Maybe I'm hallucinating. What is this? Is he charging again? <laughs> he's just breaking crosses. I don't know what he's doing. Is he buffing himself when that happens? Oh no, no, no. Oh, the flowers! That's so cool! The flowers getting kicked up into the air. That's awesome. It's a very cinematic fight. Oh, he's limping! Okay, he gets me, I don't get him! How does- he can- I'm not even doing anything and he- he, uh, parries me. gesture. No, it's not over yet. Ugh. Get your paws off me! No! What is he doing? Oh. That's weird. I love the design of this boss. This is horrifying. Alright, guys. Is this the 1cc run? <laughs> I don't know. Nope, we have four vials! <laughs> we got four vials! I don't think we got this. <laughs> we have two vials. Yep, the umbilical cords did work! <laughs> Ending with success. I'm gonna die though. I don't know enough vials. For sure. Oh, he's gonna. Whoa! I'm almost dead! That was so cool! That attack animation was amazing. I don't know what happened. <laughs> that was cool. This boss design is amazing. I love the look of this. So dead. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, no, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know they had like almost an insta kill attack. <laughs> the game preps you so well for Garmin and Moon Presence with all the bosses in it. It does. It definitely does. Um, Garmin was infinitely easier <laughs> than Cause. After fighting Cause, it almost felt like Garmin was in slow motion. 
But I feel like even though the Gehrman fight wasn't hard, it was very cinematic. And it was cool seeing him like start hobbling and like get weaker. And the music get sad. Sky change, yes, yes it did. The moon. The moon! Yeah, the, everything's creepy looking. Can I even dodge that like laser thing? That killed me almost. Is umbilical cord umbilical cord is, uh, is a high protein <laughs> high protein meal. Low in carb. Ow. Alright, come at me, bro. I don't think I can parry this guy. He's too big. This seems like... I love this game. I love the boss design, but it seems like way too many of the bosses. You just hit him in the butt as the strat. That's cool. That's a cool attack. I don't think there's a way to dodge that. <laughs> hit him in the face, maybe? Is he interrupt? What is happening? I don't know what's happening right now. Um, wait, why am I not healing? Uh oh. Did he- Does the boss mess with your controls? Or cut your ability to heal? Am I missing something? I was pressing my triangle and I was I was itching my butt instead of healing. <laughs> I like to kill Garman and let myself die to the moon presence and look at my pet moon presence in the backyard. <laughs> Do you play play fetch with your moon presence? Let's see if Dol says something. Garman awaits you. Oh, he did. The foot of the Go on, good I got him already. Farewell, good I have so much insight. I'm so smart. You can't heal because of the blood attack. Yeah, that's what I thought. I couldn't heal. Something hit me. Okay. I'm glad it wasn't just my controller on the fritz. That's a cool game mechanic. So if he uses that attack after the one where I, um, just, he almost completely kills me, I'm in, in some trouble. I'm in some shit. I wish- so, instead of like a straight up Bloodborne sequel, if they did like kind of a sci-fi Bloodborne sequel with bosses like this, that would be really cool. Because this boss design is, is very interesting. Yeah, he reminds me of Alien, exactly! It's like the, uh, the Xenomorph, almost. Like a skeletal Cthulhu Xenomorph kind of weird hybrid. Hyperlight Drifter enemy. Oh, he pauses after that. He's wide open after that for a bit. Ow. Stop whomping around. Let me hit you. I can probably pizza cutter him, actually. Oh, shit. Now I can't heal. That's cool. Does that last the entirety of the fight? <laughs> We're dead. Jesus. You actually just finished playing Alien Isolation? How did you like that? How did you like Alien Isolation? Someone gifted me a copy of that, and I really want to play it. The Alien movies are, like, one of my favorite series, and, uh... The game looked pretty spooky. The more insight you have, the harder the boss is after New Game Plus. Ooh. Really? I thought it just applied to frenzy damage. Does it make them do more damage? Like, as a whole? Drops pants and bends over, bringing the moon presence. That's such a bad joke! Thank you. <laughs> It's based off a of Lovecraft god. Oh yeah, you said that. It's the, the name that I can't pronounce like every other Lovecraft god. 
I've actually never read any Lovecraft. I tried. It was it was a little bit too uh too dry for me. You can recover health by hitting it. Ooh. Okay. That was great, but too long. I heard that there was kind of a, a bit of filler in Alien Isolation. That it did kind of drag on too long. Which kind of stinks. If they had a good premise, they could have just made it a tighter game. With good gameplay. A lot of games do that. They just drag out way too long. Fillers. Filler stuff. When does Nier come out again? I'm trying to look for the tell for that cone uh, laser thing. I'm trying to stay behind him completely. But he backs a lot. Moon Presence used Tailwind. It's super effective. There it is! Oh shit, what is behind him? Alright, I think I learned the strat of what to do after that attack. Just go at him. That's a combo. <laughs> oh! Let me heal before I get hit by everything. Oh, he just keeps doing it! No, that's not cool. I get hit by the blood. Oh, shit. Oh, the music's so good! You know what comes out first that I'm super- uh, sooner than here that I'm super excited about is, um... Horizon Zero Dawn. That comes out pretty soon. That game looks really cool. Bubble pop. Bubble pop. Die! Die! Boom. Boom. We beat. We beat the video game. We beat. <laughs> I did it. I beat Bloodborne. They beat. They beat Bloodborne. What do I do with my life now, guys? <laughs> oh, ending. Ending cutscene. It's cutscene time. Ew. Are you cold? Oh, put a blankie on him. Oh, that's me! No, that's me! <laughs> I'm a slug. This is not my fetish. Oh, good hunter. Did I become a baby Cthulhu? <laughs> I was joking! I was joking! I'm a baby Cthulhu! Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> what an ending, guys! Wow! We got the good end. I always wanted to be a baby Cthulhu. Thank you guys! Thank you guys for watching and for all the tips and stuff! Yeah, we did it! We did it without co-op! I don't know how, <laughs> but we did it. We are squids now. We're squids. We're not kids. We're just squids. We're just squid- straight squidden. I wasn't a kid. I was a- I was a- a lady. That moment you beat one bird and you wonder, now what? Yeah. I don't know. So guys, so I'm gonna play Dark Souls at one point. I'm definitely gonna play Dark Souls 1. It's not gonna be next, but it'll be, it'll be coming up. And I'm assuming it's gonna be just as difficult as this game. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. But in the meantime, I gotta figure out what I'm playing tomorrow. <laughs> so if anyone has any suggestions, feel free to throw them at me. I was thinking The Last of Us. The Last of Us. I got that. Right here. Thank you, Amazon Warehouse Deals. Um, I have that. I have Until Dawn. I have 
Uh, Gravity Rush, the original one. Did you do all the dungeons? No. I did one of the dungeons, but the dungeons, honestly, they didn't interest me that much. This ending music is really epic. I'll probably come back and do the dungeons at some point, but are people actually interested in watching me stream Chalice Dungeons? <laughs> like, honestly? Titanfall, I heard it looks amazing. Um, Titanfall isn't really my type of game. I can see why it would be fun for people who like that type of game, but isn't it like an FPS type uh, dealy? Until Dawn, Until Dawn, The Last of Us. Last of Us. Missed a lot of stuff. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, I know Black Metal Werewolf. I, I probably did. I'm sure there's cool stuff in them, but like, so from a streaming perspective, um, I feel like it wouldn't be interesting for you guys to watch me play those, because isn't it a most mostly a lot of like repetitive uh, rooms and stuff with only a few bosses? Like watching the main game is fun because there's a lot of cool, uh, cool level design. Last of Us, or maybe Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, that comes out in two weeks, right? So if that comes out in two weeks... Oh, shoot. Alright, so we're on Wednesday the 15th. I think if I start The Last of Us tomorrow night, I might be able to get through The Last of Us before Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm not going to buy Horizon Zero Dawn right when it comes out. I'm not going to stream it right when it comes out, because I don't want to be like everyone else and just stream the same game. Because there's too many people. I'm gonna wait a little bit for the, the hype to die down. I tried to stream The Last Guardian when that first came out and that was okay, but like, I don't know about Horizon Zero Dawn. You can co-op in them and help others. Okay. So I was thinking, I don't know, I'm still, like I said, kind of trying to eke out my schedule. Um, but the, with Bloodborne, what I could end up doing is I could have one stream a week for a bit, where I do something like the Chalice Dungeons and co-op. Because I know a lot of you guys like Bloodborne, and you like, like co op and doing that stuff. So that might be fun, because I didn't really do a lot of co-op. And I could just spend like three days a week doing like a story game like The Last of Us, and then one day a week we can do like a multiplayer kind of Bloodborne co-op if anyone's interested. In that type of thing. Because um, I think, think that would be fun. I do want to do some more co-op. Yeah, Axiom Verge. Shoot. <laughs> I forgot about Axiom Verge. I like that game. RE7, I, I've had very mixed feelings about that game. I watched most of a playthrough, so it's kind of spoiled for me right now. Oh, let me let me let Charlie up. She's looking like she wants, wants to say hi. Hi, hey Charlie. You were so good. It's because I blockaded her from the desk. You can come up. It's okay. It's Charlie time. She looks startled. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, I, I don't know if I'll do some sort of poll or just kind of go for uh, Last of Us until uh, next game. Let's see if there's an after uh, after credits cutscene. I'm assuming there isn't. This isn't a movie. <laughs> Charlie, what's up? You stretching. You could finish Fury in this two weeks. <laughs> I could. I probably could. Also, thank you for the follow, Might000. Appreciate it. Yeah, hi, Brita. I'm definitely gonna wait on Fury. It, it really does look like an awesome game, but I, I just spent money on a humble bundle, <laughs> and um, I, I don't wanna directly, um, I don't wanna pay another, like, 20 bucks on a game right now, because I'm planning on getting Horizon Zero Dawn, possibly, and that's like another 60 bucks, and I just spent 20 bucks. I, I gotta wait for that to go on sale. Basically. Um. Because I think I saw it on a Steam sale for like 10 bucks last time. I didn't buy it. Four beers at the end of the credits. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna do something like that. But I just, I like waiting just in case. I'm trying to think. There's a lot of movies where they just, they show something at the end. That's uh completely changes like the ending of the movie. Also, thank you for the follow, Alice Rising. Thanks for hanging out in the chat. Alice, you said you stream too, right? I'll have to check out your, uh, check out your stream afterwards. It's kind of early. Like, I was planning on ending at 11.30, but, like, I feel like it's too late to actually start a new game right now. 
And maybe I have like a short game that I could play. I got like a billion games from the Humble Bundle. Yes, you do. Okay, cool. I will check it out after uh, after I wrap up. I'm trying to figure out if I want to wrap up or just play something short because I got so many games. <laughs> this is a humble bundle with like 30 games. Oh, it just goes right into New Game Plus. Go, honey. Uh, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you? Know <laughs> the troubleshooting stream. I should just do an IRL uh, IRL kitty petting stream and just pet Charlie. IRL is my absolute favorite section of Twitch, for the record, guys. Like, if you guys haven't checked out the IRL section, it is a human zoo. Like, the people there are insane. There's so, like, last night I was watching this guy who, he's actually, he's an older guy. He might be in his, his late 50s. And he has all these cameras around his house. And he, t like, feeds and talks to the raccoons in his yard. And his stream is him. Like, it's the raccoons, like, outside in his yard, like, on the cameras in his yard. That's his stream. And then he puts, like, really meme -y special effects, like, aliens and Illuminati stuff. <laughs> like, it's amazing. You can do a bit of New Game Plus. Uh, I, I feel like I'm gonna rest on my laurels a little bit. <laughs> yeah. The success of actually beating Bloodborne. Guys, I I'm so happy. Like, I, I didn't think I would beat this game without co oping I am very terrible at video games, and just to be able to beat it, just through determination of, uh, just, like, just bashing my head into a wall. Feels good, man. And you guys helped a lot, too, with your tips, and I very much appreciate it. The tips and the moral support. Because there were some times I got super salty and wanted to quit. You'd watch, what, the raccoon stream, oh, Many Multitudes? I actually was... Let me check. I'm gonna stream for a little bit longer, I think. Um... Twitch. I don't know what I'm gonna start off on. Hold on. I can start one game tonight. I have about a half an hour, 45 minutes. Hey, Charlie. You stepping all over everything? Scoot, honey. Scoot. Just came in to catch you beating Bloodborne. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. It feels like an accomplishment. I know it's just a video game, but I was... I was, uh... Hold on. I was chugging away on that. Let me check my own channel. I don't even know when I started this. I gotta check my last... my VOD. Charlie, stop stomping. She's doing a victory stomp. On everything. Alright, so I started Bloodborne. Oh, Charlie, I can't see, honey. I started Bloodborne... Oh lord! <laughs> I'm going way back. I started Bloodborne January... 1st. What a way to start a new year! <laughs> I started Bloodborne January 1st. And I just finished. Playing about 12 hours a week, maybe? A little bit more. I usually stream about 3 hours, 4 days a week. Any interest in Neo? I hear it's similar. Um... To be honest, Neo, so it looks interesting when I watch people play it, but it seems a lot more unforgiving than Bloodborne. Like, I played the demo and I could not for the life of me get the hang of that rally mechanic in the game. Stop trying to push my deodorant off the desk, Charlie. <laughs> my cat is literally trying to just topple everything off my desk one by one. Um... But yeah, no, Neo looks really cool. Not really my cup of tea, I think. It didn't, like, the aesthetic of the game. I really like Bloodborne's kind of, like, Victorian aesthetic go that it's got going for it. But Neo just kind of looks ugly. That looks like uh, an ugly version of Okami. No, Charlie! Okay, okay, you've overstayed your welcome. Go. <laughs> She's, like, deciding to push anything and everything breakable off the desk. The raccoon stream. Yeah, the raccoon stream's solid. I'll link to it in my Discord. I, like, I took a really good clip of that guy's stream last night, but I didn't want to post it in the Discord because I didn't want to seem like a bully, even though I thought it was really cool. <laughs> like, I don't like calling other streams out on my Discord unless I, like, have a personal relationship with them. Because people might see it as bullying. 
That Garmin fight, though, was quicker than what I have seen. I think it was severely overleveled for it, IDK. It was too easy. <laughs> it, was, it was way too easy. compared. To, I, I think it was going directly from Cause to, um... Freaking... Garmin, too. Like, he's, he's like... Garmin is, like, Cause light with the aggressiveness. You're excited to start Dark Souls soon? Oh, you're playing, uh... Are you playing Dark Souls 1? Or Dark Souls 3? Uh, Alice, I was planning on doing Dark Souls 1. At some point, but I, I need... I need a break. <laughs> I need a break from the Soulsborne universe. I need something easy. Neo is ugly? You don't think it's ugly? I... I don't know, guys. It just... It looks bugs to me. I can understand that it's been hard to go in Dark Souls after Bloodborne because of the less interesting style. Yeah, it, Yeah, I agree. Like... Graphically, Dark Souls is kind of bland compared to Bloodborne. Like, look at how badass my character looks right now. Look at how badass this boom hammer is. Like, how flashy this weapon is. And then you go into Dark Souls and, like, everyone seems like a knight with a sword. Excuse me. Alright, let me get out of here. Let me just go spend my echoes. I actually don't even know what's going on. Do I just run past that wolf again? Like, where was the first lantern? I don't even remember. It's been like a month and a half since I've been here. <laughs> Is this wolf gonna be like all hulked out and kill me immediately? It would help if I was in the range of my weapon. Oh! I hope I die to the first wolf. That'd be awesome. There, where is the... Where's the first lantern? Do I have to die? Oh boy. After finishing, after I finish streaming Kingdom Hearts 2.8, I'm jumping on Dark Souls 1 and then probably 2 and 3. Are you doing Dark Souls 1 on PC or um, PS3? I'm gonna do it on PC because I got it for like five bucks. And apparently you can play in 60 FPS, which seems like it would be fun after playing Bloodborne in 30 FPS <laughs> to get used to. <laughs> um, I had a male character, but your character looks awesome. But you're a lady? You're a lady with a name like Alice Rises or no? Are you a dude? I don't know. I like playing as a lady character most of the time. I look like a Tim Burton waifu. Get to Lantern on top ladder. You know how long it's been since I've been in this area? I don't remember anything. <sighs> Yarnum! I hate Yarnum so much! <laughs> yeah, I don't know, uh, I don't know, Might, how um, I would deal with the shields mechanic after coming from Bloodborne, where shields are, like, not really a thing. Uh, the ladder... The ladder... The ladder is down. I mean, up. <laughs> the ladder is up. Alright, this is mildly satisfying after getting destroyed by these guys. I picked the threaded cane for my blind playthrough, and it took me like five hits to kill one enemy in the early game, because I did the threaded cane with the build that gives me strength instead of dexterity. I just want to. I just want to spend my echoes. That's all I want to do. I want to get out of. Get the hell out of yard. <laughs> the lever works. The lever. For the ladder. Okie doke. Like I said, it's been maybe a month and a half since I've been here. I don't remember anything. Honestly, I feel like. The dudes and the women in this game look almost exactly the same, like body type wise. Like I tried to give my character massive boobs. Shut up, cleric beast. And um, th th this there's nothing there. Like this is max size boobs in this game. So <laughs> I don't know, uh, gender wise in the character creation, if it even makes any difference, except for kind of your facial features. So what should I do for a half hour? I have a half an hour. I could start... I could start Until Dawn or The Last of Us. 
Okay, cutscene, I don't care. I've been here before. Give me levels. I have... Do I have to take a weapon? Do I have to take these? I have these already. Grind your item for 30 minutes? No, age. No. How do I activate the doll? Do I have to get to the first cleric beast area? Do I have to get to the first cleric beast area? Or what if I use... Oh, one more insight? That's what I was wondering. Use. Nope. Do I have to leave and come back? I guess I'd have to come back. Maybe a quick chalice dungeon. Um, hmm. I don't know. Oh, you talked to Garmin. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. It's okay. We get to sit through two loading screens. Yeah, I know. I have a lot of insight. This is going to be the 99 insight run. Whenever I get to it. Why is the loading so slow all of a sudden? Because I think this is the slowest load screen. You had the same issue, okay. <laughs> okay, so you know what you're talking about. Alright, we'll go back. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna level up a couple times. So, like, I know people kind of cap their characters off at, like, a level 120 for uh, PvP purposes. But, personally, I hate PvP. Like, every time I've PvP'd something, someone, it's been a boring mess. Um, so does it matter where I stop leveling? Can I just like level up forever? Level up for days? Hello, good. I am a dog honorable hunter. And I will check you will hand between both. Okay. Um, because I just want to put points into vitality and strength. At this point. I like the boom hammer. I kinda, you know. Would it be dumb to level arcane at this point if I'm doing a new game plus? Because a lot of the arcane, I have eight arcane, like that's terrible. But if I wanted to use the arcane stuff just to mess around with, is it smarter just to make a new character? Or to, um. To just level arcane on my current? I don't even know. Because I have. May you find. I have stuff. What do I have? I have... All these cool things! So this needs 15. This needs 15. This needs 40. 18. 15. 25. 15. Tiny Tinnitus, though. I want to just- I want to see what the Tiny Tinnitus looks like, but I don't want to level it up. you desire? I highly recommend leveling arcane to at least 20. You gain access to a lot of cool abilities. So, you, so that's kind of what I'm con confused about. So it, the arcane abilities are still useful on characters who aren't very heavy, like arcane based. So like my weapons aren't I super, they don't really answer. scale super heavy with arcane. May you find your like the boom hammer kind of does, but not really. Welcome I just, I kind of want to try the, uh, like the auger and those type of abilities, they're cool. Close. Headed to the place of employment. Okay, many multitudes, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a good night at work. Okay, well, I can get a few levels. I'll stop at like 15 or something, just to mess around. I just like, when I go through the new game, I want a different experience, and using those would probably help a bit. Farewell, good hunter. So I'll do that, and I will repair my weapons. Hey, Garman, do you have anything to say after I beat your face in about 20 minutes ago? You must be the new hunter. Welcome to the hunt. I am nope. you're sure to be in a fine haze so, right now, but I will say that I'm kind of disappointed that pretty much nothing Just changes story wise in a new game. Given it's the plot, they could have probably had something change. You know. It's just what hunters Same thing do. with the insight. They could have had it uh, used to it. change more of the game than it did. 
those are probably my two biggest disappointments with this game, but everything else was really fun. Beast Roar knocks enemies down all around you. Beast Roar is amazing. Okay. Alright, so that sounds fun. That sounds like a good uh, good thing. So that was how many? Was that 15? I'm almost there. Oh, not fortify. Repair. Um, so repair this. Woo! That was close. That was very close to broken. The amygdala arm is so gross. Like, as a weapon, I was messing around with it and it just feels disgusting to use this weapon. Like, I don't know what it is about it other than the fact that it's an amygdala arm. But just the animation is, like, gross to me. And the, the actual, like, weapon itself is, like, hideous looking. Like, look at this. It's like a big club. And, like a noodly appendage. This is, <laughs> this is slow, too. I feel like... It could be good. But it seems like it'd be super easy to parry. Same with the boom hammer. Like I get the times I tried PvP, I got wrecked with the boom hammer because everyone just waited for me to do any attack, and then I just got parried. Did you ever try cannon? Yeah, it wasn't that good. I think you need like a blunt blood tinge uh, build for it. Um. So cannon. I also really wish this fist of Gracia could parry. Because it doesn't stagger any more than my actual weapon does. Looks like something a troll would use. It actually does. I agree. Big old troll. He can up- the uh, the brick trolls can upgrade from the bricks. Just have amygdala arms. They're evolving. Um, so there's this, too. I didn't try this at all. zero idea how to use this. That seems to eat through, uh... Eat through the bullets pretty fast. This kind of seems not like something that would belong in the Bloodborne universe. <laughs> it probably does piddling damage if I don't have uh, levels in Blood Tinge, too. It scales the most with Blood Tinge. It only scales with Blood Tinge, but it requires 28 strength. And the cannon is the same. So it requires 20, uh, 30 strength, but like, scales only with Blood Tinge. And my Blood Tinge is terrible! My Blood Tinge is 6! So the Gatling Gun, Gatling gun is probably like, like a bunch of little mosquitoes. Like no damage, just annoyance. So, are these all open in New Game Plus, or do I have to go collect everything again? Oh, I gotta collect everything again? Oh. oh no, I don't. Really? That's cool. That's kinda cool. So... So what's the bottom level? I don't understand anything. <laughs> so if I go here... Do I just fight my way through this and it gets me to the next, like, depth, basically? I really did not do the, the, uh, chalices whatsoever. Or is this the bottom depth? It's three. I am not a chalice expert. Did you defeat Fire Dog? Yes. Yes, I did. A while ago. I defeated the Fire Dog. I defeated, um... Undead giant? There was something else. I defeated whatever was here. <laughs> this was the fire dog, I guess. Was that the bottom of this dungeon? I guess this was the bottom. I really do not have any semblance of understanding of these dungeons. Can you equip the auger? Uh, ooh, let's unequip the Gatling gun. <laughs> uh, auger is... is it a second hand weapon? Or do I just equip it on my character somehow? That's the only chalice I completed out, okay? Yeah, I don't know. They don't really seem like my thing. Ooh, I can equip this thing. Use. Ooh. 
Ooh, I'm a node! So spooky! <laughs> this isn't obvious at all. This is how you play Stealth Bloodborne. No one would ever guess. <laughs> this is so stupid! How is this useful? I gotta sneak up on Garman. He doesn't know. He's looking at me! He knows! How does he know? How do I break this? Oh! <laughs> Every chalice would be like the next floor going deeper. Every chalice. You've explained this to me before, Hybrido, and I'm sorry. I feel like an idiot because I still don't understand. <laughs> I still don't understand, even though you've tried to explain this to me. So this is the next layer. Central. This is the next one. Going down. The last chalice would be the bottom. I think this is the next one. The auger, I think, is an item you use. I don't think it's in a slot. So I think I would have to use it as a, like a Molotov type item. But it's like infinite use instead. From what I understand, let's try. So I equip it in like this slot, I think. And it uses bullets, I guess? Oh, I don't have enough arcane yet. I need 15 for most of these. 15 or 18. We're getting there. But we can equip the messenger's gift. It's very, very important. Arcane ability. <laughs> Alright. I don't remember any of this. I really don't remember any of this. I don't even know if this is where I'm supposed to be going. Off to bed, thank you for the stream. No problem. No problem, thanks for watching. I'll check out your stream after. Oh, these guys are very squishy. Oh, no, they do a lot of damage. Yeah, the, uh, the messengers, whoa. The messengers gift was, uh, what was 10 arcane age? The thing that I was doing. So these guys are new game plus levels, okay. So they scaled too. As far as I can tell. The level design in these chalices is just so dull to me. That's a trap, I think. Easy. <laughs> it just gently flops down the stairs. <laughs> Did I operate this already? Oh, I have to stand in front of it for some reason. There we go. Unlocked. Somewhere. A door has opened. God knows where. But somewhere. Is there any music in these dungeons? There doesn't seem like there is. There doesn't seem like there is. I'm gonna turn the song lot on. Hold up. Got closed out when everything crashed. Song requests. Gotta head out too, but congrats. Thank you, and thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. I'm gonna end very soon, maybe like 15 minutes. I don't want to listen to Kavinsky right now. Okay. <laughs> nice, nice Bloodborne music, IDK. <laughs> oh boy. That's funny. I can't escape it. Do, 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 do. What is that noise? Ooh. I totally forget how to do a jump attack. What is this? Time for visceral attacks! Oh ho! You guys are just adding bloodborne music! Why? Why? <laughs> no! So 
So they're weak. They hit decently, but they're they're weak. Cursed Fire Blood Gemstone. So supposedly there's good gems in these these things. That power lifting though. You gotta put your back into it. Oh, is this a boss? Quick weapon is effective. Bolt is oh, this is a boss, guys! As soon as I turn the song bot on, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a boss. Um already? I guess I must have been pretty far down. Keeper of the old lords. What is this thing? Oh, it's a it's a hunter? Okay. Oh, I do a lot of damage. Ow. Is this like a mini boss? It's a cool design. I want the hat. This, this is a. Oh, oh, okay. That hurts. Keeper of the. What? Ow, oh, 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 no! Ow. He hits really hard, even though he's swish. boss. Oh. Oh, so was that the the end of this one? And then I just use the next one? Next chalice. This guy has some lore. So are the old lords the great ones that they hid underground or what? I don't understand anything. It's all next use of terrain. He was way too squishy, because we never ended up doing these. So I got another chalice, but it's still letting me go further. Hmm. I'm destroying the chalice bosses, because they're not really, uh, they're not really kept up. The levels don't keep up. There's one more boss. Okay, cool. Thank you. Might be able to finish it tonight. Nothing but ritual materials here. Let's get them! Beware of trap. Good thing I deactivated it. <laughs> Ooh. Fear statue, but rolling is effective. Statue. Where is statue? Here, ambush. Are these dudes like just chilling? That one is. I can't tell what's a body and what's an enemy. They're so skeletal. This is mildly satisfying after getting destroyed the whole game. Who's he hanging on to? grabbing the roots. There's three bosses in every chalice. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah, so I think I have one more. Let's see if we can find him. Oh, you know what? I should use my, um, this thing. Lantern shot. Uh-oh. Ooh, what are those dudes? I don't like them. Easy. No, no, he's not dead. Nope. I feel like a glass cannon. Remember Smelly? Remember Remember Smelly Skelly. <laughs> okay, we got him. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see if he notices. He's breathing really heavy. Oh, he noticed. Doesn't matter. See, this is why we don't play Metal Gear. 
because I can't stealth at all. What is this? Why am I praying? I pressed my X button, but apparently it thought it was a gesture. Cool. Where is that? I hear a trap. I'm gonna find it with my face. Reeks of- Reeks of elderly! <laughs> How about Warframe? No. No. Not a multiplayer game, Puma. I'm sure Warframe is fun. I'm sure it is. Oh. I don't like this. Is that a door? <laughs> that was slightly too close. Alright. It looks like there's a door behind it. You can play all missions solo though, what's the point? Isn't the whole point of that that it's multiplayer? Someone's a whalin'. Worthwhile in this this dungeon. Time for items. What is it? Tomb mold. <laughs> Why? Time for items. You get tomb mold. Good old tomb mold. You prefer a stealthy mission solo? There's stealthy missions in Warframe? Really? I thought it was kind of just an action game. Is it more Tomb Mold? No, it's Ritual Blood. Nice. Just what I always wanted. Is it more Tomb Mold? Is it blood? Nothing but blood here. Wait. Wait a minute. Why is blood not a word in this game? <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> no! Shoot, I didn't finish it. Nothing but... Blood. Nothing but blood here. You are a space ninja? What? I understand nothing about Warframe then. I thought it was just kind of an action game where you shoot people. Excuse me. And there are robots and stuff. Or like, mechanoid suits. I don't know if I'm even thinking of the same game. I don't know a lot about it. So this is just items. Okay, so we, we got sidetracked. I can go up. Sounds, sounds like a party up there. Let's go up there. Someone's pushing boulders around. What the? <laughs> okay, Yorda's revenge. Oh, that's weird. There's no reg when you hit her. So what is going on up here? Why was she going down the ladder? Wondrous coarse paper and insight. It's a head. Just when I needed more insight, I only have 54. Ooh, ooh, these assholes. They kill me in two shots. I kill them in two shots. Ha ho!
She definitely had the same AI as Yorda from Eco. Just blocking me from going up ladders. Repetitively. Okay, okay. Insight! Fire paper. So that's kinda- I feel like these are cool if like you don't unlock um... Like if you do them early in the game before you have certain stuff unlocked in the shop, these would be a good way to gather materials and items. Like fire paper and stuff. But at this point, I feel like it's kind of useless, except to see the bosses that are in here. Hidden away from the main game, for whatever reason they choose. Remember Eco Waifu? <laughs> Remember Box Waifu? I miss Box Waifu. Hmm. I'm going in circles! I don't remember where I was. It's that point in the game. It's been a while. I thought that was an enemy. That's a pile of candles. <laughs> I'm seeing things. What does this say? Turn back. Eventually charging forth is effective. I don't listen to anything. Box and barrel waifus will return in other games, maybe? If Team Eco, Eco decides to make any more games. Maybe. But I think that was their last one with The Last Guardian. You've come to the right place. Ooh. Gimme. I'm gonna die going through here. You must accept your treat, but don't give up. Do oh, okay. So I have to open the... I gotta open a gate somewhere in this maze. Maybe this? Yes! These rooms all look the same to me. these big elaborate chests and 90% of the time you open them it's like too mold. Like who went through the effort of putting a <laughs> putting two bits to mold? <laughs> like this freaking ridiculous uh, sarcophagus. No jewels, no gems, two mold. That's all we get. It's like a slap to the face. There's a few more when Age decides to do his job. <laughs> when he decides to add quotes. I might make it so uh, so everyone can add quotes though. I don't think I have it enabled. I need a switch! I don't need two mold! I need a switch! You missed a lot- you just- you mostly missed a lot of Bloodborne uh, Puma. More than anything. Two mold is pretty valuable. Yeah, it's like- it's like an aged wine or cheese. You gotta like, you gotta let it grow for about 200 years on a corpse in the middle of like, freaking Thumaru's butthole dungeon. Then you gotta harvest it. It's a, it's a 20 step process. How do I open? The thing. Okay. Okay, Age, I'm gonna wrap it up now, I think. I'm getting, like, super lost. And it's uh, it's almost 11.30. Is there a lantern that I can just, uh, piece out of here? Where is lantern? I think I can just fall here. I'm getting better at estimating fall damage. Alright, that's a, a drop over there. Do-do-do-do! 
You did it! I did it! I beat the video game! We'll figure out what to do next. How do I get out of here? I didn't didn't get anything. I got two I got two mold and ritual blood. That's all I got from this. I know there's one more boss, but I'm not gonna get to it tonight. I'm getting tired. I'm just trying to find the lantern with my piss poor sense of direction. Unless the boss is right here. Oh no, lantern's right here. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, I know I said I'm gonna stop, but like, I wanna kinda see what's this way. Cause maybe it's right here? I don't know how big these dungeons are. Alright, okay. Dungeons- Dungeon is too big! <laughs> There's nothing, uh, nothing right in eyesight. I have to go back and I have to get a lever and then I have to backtrack to where I was before. So that's enough exploring for tonight. The doors before the lamp are optional, no bosses. Ooh, okay, that's good to know. So that seems to be mostly, um, like chalice dungeon materials. So you can keep exploring, keep spelunking. That's cool. So I did everything but what I needed to do to get to the boss. <laughs> oh boy. Now I remember that sad moment where I finished everything in Fable 1, all side quests, all main quests, stories finished, all items achieved. So sad great game ends at some point. It is! And I don't know... Is Fable 1, does that have a lot of replayability? Like, at least with Bloodborne, it seems like you can kind of go... Um... Go with different builds and subsequent playthroughs, and it'll have like a completely different feel to it. Like, if I were to go back and do an arcane build now, it would be a completely different playstyle than my, like strength character that I'm doing did this run, but um, I'm gonna wrap it up for Bloodborne for a bit. I think what I'm gonna end up doing, or may end up doing, is like I said, do three days a week a different game, and then do Bloodborne maybe on Sundays or something. Just do uh, maybe some co-op Chalice Dungeons for a bit to try to get a little multiplayer for everyone. anyone um, wanted to join in, or I could just kind of try to finish them off on my own, because I know there is a trophy you get if you beat um, most of the Chalice Dungeons, I think. So I'd, I'd like to get that at some point. And I'd like to continue with Bloodborne, but I do need to play <laughs> something that isn't Bloodborne, because I'm so burnt out at this point. But thank you guys so much for watching. Watching the Bloodborne finale. And for the moral support. I had a lot of fun with the game, and um, I'll probably post on the Discord what I'll be playing next. I'm going to be playing tomorrow night. Um, but if anyone has any suggestions, you can you can leave them on the Discord or uh, send me a message on uh, on Twitch, and I'll think about it. But I'm probably gonna end up being the Last of Us starting tomorrow night. But thank you guys so much for watching, and hope you guys all have a good night. And I'll see you later. And I may toss someone a host. Um, let me just quickly hold on. Let me see if anyone's streaming. I'm gonna watch someone a little bit before I go to bed. This is my spooky disembo disembodied voice talking. <laughs> I always forget to toss someone a host. So I forget who's streaming. Alright, we have... Looks like Femme is finishing. Oh, okay, I'm gonna host... Okay, I'm gonna host this guy who does the raccoons. So there's this guy. Who his stream is just like his cameras uh, on these raccoons in his yard. And it's pretty entertaining. So I'm gonna host him, and uh, I'll go hang out and watch him for a little bit. He's, he's an ent entertaining stream. I enjoyed it, so. <laughs> yeah, my spooky, spooky ghost shrimp voice. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go host uh, Raccoon Todd for some uh, some fun raccoon spectating. So I'll catch you guys later. It runs, it ran. I think that's the new kid on the block. 
you know what I mean? That one that we've gotten used to. Because every time I went out there, it, it runs to the shed, it looks, and then it runs all the way down the fence line. So I have no clue um, which one that is. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's that one where, you know, that baby that we don't know where it came from. 